do help you do what it is that you do. That's why we are in existence. Um, we're all a part of this 99% movement because we really have no choice at this point in history. Um, we are in a point in phase in history that uh, is dictating, uh, in order for us to survive as a species, as human beings, as social beings, um, and, and, and in some sense as spiritual beings, we have to allow, be allowed to fulfill a life that meets all of those human needs and, and all of those spiritual needs as well as the political needs of being able to provide for the basic uh, necessities of life for all of the people on this planet. Um, we know that there's no material shortage. I think what brings a lot of us to this, this, this place in our lives in terms of our activism and in terms of our movement building is the simple fact that we know that what we need is already here. We know that this earth is a, is a beautiful place is a plentiful place, a place with an abundance of, of all of the things that we need. But yet we have people on this planet, a matter of fact, half of the people on this planet who live in poverty, who live in lack, who live in a place where they have to fight and fend for their very survival. And we say, well, we've got all of this you know, material wealth here in the United States and in other places in, in, in Europe and throughout the world that's so concentrated and, and we see people driving around in really fancy cars and living in these huge homes and having these very luxurious lifestyles juxtaposed to this position of half the people on the planet literally starving, looking for a place to, to stay, to eat, to be stable, to live and develop their lives, their dreams, uh, uh, their creations, uh, the, the very things that are in them that they are ready to birth. As, as, as human and spiritual beings, they're ready to bring them out, but because they're so wrapped up in just surviving, it makes it very difficult to do that. And we have to sit back and say, well, why is that? Why does this paradigm exist? Why are there people who are going without? Well, we have to go first and look at the very base of society itself. And that base is the means of production. And when I say means of production, you know, you might ask, what does that entail? Well, when I say the means of production, I mean, how do we produce the things that we need for life? And there's a system connected to that, and throughout that system, it interacts with all of these different uh, uh, social paradigms and political paradigms that bring the thing into fruition. And what I'm talking about is capitalism. I'm sure everybody in here is familiar with what capitalism is. It's a, it's a system of private ownership, meaning that the people who have the means to produce own it privately. And, and that ownership is based on them being able to produce a profit based on the exploitation of labor. And so you have this quote unquote working class who goes and, and, and they till the land to, to, to bring up these crops and they go get these mineral resources out of the ground and, and they build the machines and they operate the uh, trucks and the trains and all of the, the planes that, that move all of these